Hi, it's Richard at Kenzen Sports Karate in Victoria, Canada, but I'm not in Victoria. I'm still in Japan. It's my last week of nine plus years of being the head coach of Seritsu Gakuen Karate Junior and Senior High School. And you kind of might be wondering, what is a karate club in Japan in a high school? Well, here you are as a person. You can join a dojo and go to a junior high dojo, a junior high school or a high school, or you can go straight into the dojo, and then from there you join a competitive league. So you can compete in the city, you can compete in regional, you can compete in national, and if you get on the national team, compete in world competitions. And this circuit is under the Japan Karate Federation. Each of them is a different level. In Japan, there's lots of different styles, Wado, Goju, Shotokan, and Shito. And while a private dojo might have one specific style, in this system, normally, they let any style come in. And kids can compete in kata, and they, if they have a certain style, they can do it. And in kumite sparring, the rules are all the same, so the style doesn't matter. So how, how did I get into this club? It's 51 years old, I'm the third head coach. And it was started uh, a long time ago, 1963, maybe you can see this, by Akino Sensei. Okay, and this is the, this is what the club used to look like. This is all the old pictures back from the 60s. Akino Sensei was a Wado practitioner, a Wado Sensei, and so as the club got older, as you can see by change of styles. Okay, then in 1985, the next coach entered. His name was Kakia. And then from, here we go, from 2005, I joined. So you can see me there. So non-Japanese teaching Japanese people. You know? So what happened was, is I got a three-month contract. And then I got a one-year contract, then a three-year contract, and then I got tenure. And right from the very first month when I was coaching, we had lots of really top athletes, but they were a little scattered, so I had to bring them together and get them learning how to train together as a team. And then we won our first Tokyo City Tournament, and we won that for two years running. And that took us to regionals and to nationals. And as you can see above me here, these are pictures at regional and national tournaments. You know, this is a girls team that was winning with me first. This is a regional and a regional. This is a national tournament, regional, regional, national. And these are only some of the tournaments that we went to. On the other side, on the top up there, you can see all, just some of the certificates that we won at city and regional national tournaments as well. So this was the first, this is that first team I was telling you about. Yeah. The girls did really well, the boys did really well, and actually the governor of Tokyo awarded our club, while I've been head coach, a, like a, a medal to um, just congratulate us on all the success we were having in promoting karate through Japan through competition. You know? While I've been in Japan these nine years, there's a really famous karate magazine called JK Fan Karate Magazine. And one year, I wrote an article uh, in English and Japanese every month. And so it was called Richard Sensei's Corner. Yep. That was a lot of fun. And what I did in this uh, article series is I talked about what karate is like overseas and why people do it and why we come to Japan. And, um, and it was a lot of fun and it helped explain a little bit about who I was, how I've been coming to Japan for 21 years and going back and forth since university age and sort of learning the, the Japanese way of doing things and overseas way of doing things and kind of putting it together. And when I was going through those trials of like three months, one year, three years, I had to keep proving myself that the students were learning good basic karate. It wasn't just for competition. There was a traditional side and there was a sports side. And well, it just paid off because now after nine plus years, I'm leaving Tokyo and going to Victoria. So. This is just a little bit about uh, where I am right now and where we're going, and I hope to see some of you at a new club uh, from September. Thanks.
Bye.